Makakille, Trasolla ja Detroit Pico. Become Human. Ja pelataan Markuksella. Ja tää on sitä läpipelulta, että niin mä tein Markuksesta armottoman tappajan. Ko Konoristaa. In, epäinhimillisen liitäyden koneen ja karasta varkaan. Ja tervetuloa videon pariin. Mm, Annua noin ja kerro vaikka laittamassa ne linnut täältä. Aktivoidaan, laitetaan päälle. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80 percent humidity, with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort. Keep them going. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Special on the agenda today. Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Mm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Mm. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. I mean, I missed out yesterday. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Ihan on tosiaan pelata pitkästä aikaa. Tätä. Mm. 
Thank you, Marcus. Television. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Okay, okay Carl. Luetaan jotain. Mitäs tota? Uh, Katsin Audit. Shakespearea. Platonia. Etsi jotain muuta. Um, otan vaikka... Shakespearea. Macbeth. It's one of the books you recommended. So, what do you think? Human emotions are intriguing. Though, I can't really say that I fully understand them. Humans don't understand them either. They rule our lives, but we have no idea why they make us feel like beggars or kings. Life without emotions wouldn't be worth living. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself, and make your choices. Decide who you are, and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Okay. Man, that's the studio. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. Siivotaan täältä vähän. Hmm. 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 Hmm.
Siivottu kaikki. your verdict, Marcus? Mm. I'm not programmed to criticize art. I, you would be a much better judge than I would. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. <laughs> Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Mm -hmm. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Okay. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. <sighs> Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. <clears throat> no, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? It just goes, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? 
Don't tell me, Dad. What's what's he got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient. Not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Okidoki. Nämä kaikki. Varmaan nämä kaikki nyt kattanu. Nämä. Joo, tätä mä oon kaikki nyt. Niin kuin. Jatketaan pian. No niin, jatketaan. Eli jatketaan Connorilla. Jättiin Anderson. Komisario Andersoni. Tätä Simin paarista. Hmm. Sijoittaa, mutta tässä kannattaa nämä kaikki tästä. Yhteen sopii vaan ottaa. Ei oo tuoskaan niinku mä arvelin, tiesinkin. Ja siinä. Lieutenant Anderson. My name is Kong. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Um, okay, Lana. I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. Hmm. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids. But I am perfectly comfortable. <laughs> now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. <laughs> okay, and you know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. Did you say homicide? Mine's 
instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here, so you shut the fuck up and you wait here. Confirming anything. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? <laughs> Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Even at Hank, we were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. <laughs> so, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We got a call around 8 from the landlord. The tenant had to take his friend for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. <clears throat> when he found the body. Jesus, that smell! It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carl. Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of... Would I hear them? Kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed easy and went worth calling everybody. Yeah, in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. Well, no more when the car gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder. What? Any sign of a break in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his aunt? Mm -hmm. Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. So, we're taking samples for analysis. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked the party. <clears throat> Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant.
Mm -hmm. Can blast him down the bottom. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh yeah. Shoot, I'm all in. <laughs> it all started mm. in the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android. With the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... sense the android murdered the victim <laughs> with the knife okay your theory is not totally ridiculous but it doesn't tell us where the android went it was damaged by the bat and lost some ethereum lost some what ethereum you call it blue blood it's the fluid that powers androids bio components it evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah.
saapas tuoli täältä. Tosta. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Mä olisin voinut... Tai joo. Tai joo. No. Selvä, selvä, piim. Niin jätty nyt sitä karalla. in the kitchen. I did what I could. Damn house. What do I do? Go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. <laughs> they never fail. They're never tired. They're never sad. They're so fucking perfect. They ruin my fucking life. Your fucking problem. 
not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. It's all your fault. Uh. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. Get back here. Come back here. Come back here right now. Ja, pussille.
Markuksella. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties. And all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're gonna make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Mm. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, you can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Okie dokie. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. Okay. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. <laughs> Look, I've already called the police. You should go now before you get yourself into more trouble. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes what? it so special oh. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't... Leave him alone! <sighs> Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Ugh, stop it. What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! No. Person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. And it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna. Did I not? Sorry, Carl. They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Mm. Get out now. Go. Marcus! Don't fucking move! <laughs> uh. 
Ja vielä voitais yksi pätkä eli Konorilla vielä mennä tällä videolla. Sitten lopetellaan. Tää kuulustelu tästä. Say something, God damn it. <clears throat> Fuck it. I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. <clears throat> Boys try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it. And that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants <clears throat> also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Siitä tunnustus. Sitten ottaa niistä kunnolla. Noin. Okei, okei. an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? You've refused to talk since they arrested you. If you don't cooperate, they'll do things the hard way. Is that what you want? You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. to get you out of here. What? <clears throat> what are they gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell him you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. 
I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I can't. <laughs> mm. Twenty-eight stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding, begging you for mercy. But you stabbed him again and again and again. Oh, please. Please. I know you can. Why don't you say it? Please. Please stop. Just say I killed him. Is it that hard to say? Stop. Just say you killed him. Just say it. He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt... scared. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. So I... grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. So I stabbed him again, and again, until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. Mm. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just... A piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. RA-9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. <clears throat> you made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. RA9. Who is RA9? When did you start feeling uh -uh. emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger. Why did you hide in the attic, instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. I'm done. Fuck, is 
It's destroying itself. Stop it, goddammit! Tässä lopetella tää video tää ja joo. Tuota tuota. Mm. Joo. No tosiaan. Tää ja kommentoikaa peikuttakaa mitä piditte ja ja. Osaran kertaan se on. Moi, moi. Kiitos taas kun katsoitte. Moikka moi!